Chad. It's Charlie, for the last time. Whatever your name is. Do you have my homework? I'm gonna do it tonight. I don't care. You better do my homework. If I don't see in a hundred, you're dead. Take a seat. All right, Charlie. This is going to be real easy, I promise. Um, I want to start off first by asking you to tell me a little about yourself. Just whenever you're ready. Well, my full name is Charlie Scott Preston. Um, I'm a junior here at uh, Christian High School in Denver, Colorado. I don't really have a lot of hobbies, but I like music a lot. And I don't have a car because my dad says that I don't need one since I have a bike. So, yeah. Um, you have any pets? Um, I used to have one. He was a golden retriever. His name was Max. He was my best friend. He always knew whenever I was having a bad day. Max was cool, I guess. It sounds like it. Um, brothers or sisters? She died three years ago from cancer. She was only seven. And, Charlie, I'm sorry. It's okay. Well, is it okay for you to tell me a little about her? No. I, I'm not good with talking about her. It's okay, it's okay. I understand. Well, how about you tell me how you're feeling? I feel fine. Turn it off. Look, I said turn it off. I said turn it off. Why 
Why'd she have to die? All she did was just love me like her older brother and I treat like she was nothing. I never even got to say goodbye. She was moved to a hospital in Dallas, Texas. I always ignored her because I just hung out with people who I thought were my friends. When she just wanted to play and listen to that song. Catherine and I used to play with the dog. That's why I love Max so much. He was the only thing to remember her by. And then my dad had to sell the dog because we lost all of her money from treatments. And now it's all gone. I don't know what to do. Well, why don't you talk to your parents? Are you crazy? My dad's never at home, he's always at work. And he's crazy whenever he's at home. He beats me, lights his cigarettes, gets in the car and goes back to work. And my mom's gone insane. She doesn't even know what life is anymore ever since my sister died. And I'm always stuck taking care of her when she's a little child. And then I just start lashing out on her and I get mad. What's wrong with me? Charlie, look at me. There's nothing wrong with you. Okay, at your age, this is normal. I mean, as much responsibility as you have at home with your mom and your sister, all that's gonna boil up and just explode like this, okay? So, there's nothing wrong with you. That's fine. But. Now that you know you can feel this way, how are you feeling? Honestly? I feel horrible. Hey Kat, it's me Charlie. It's been about three years without you standing at my bedside every day to wake me up for school. I miss you a lot. I've become a happier person now. It's been about three months since my first ever therapy session. I go on a daily basis right after school and it has helped me so much. So many things have changed in a great way. Mom and I are closer than ever. We now discuss anything that has ever been on our mind. And since you've passed away, she's been hurting. I've chosen to focus on her and her happiness and let her live her life in happiness. I have found more friends by building up the courage to talk. I have found my people. They're always making sure that I'm always in a great mood. They make me feel like I have a purpose in life. But most of all, all of this has made me miss you more. I was a horrible brother to you and I always shut you out when I should have just enjoyed my time with you. I never got to say goodbye, and I love you, Catherine. I know you'll never see this letter, but I wanted to write this letter to you to let you know that I'm fine. I'm doing better.